It was the year 2002 when Blizzard Entertainment released the strategy game Warcraft 3, along with a powerful editing tool that would allow players to create their own custom modifications. What started out as one game turned into thousands. But it was only one of them that stood out. A young individual by the name of Eul picked up on ideas of previous modifications and created his own. He called it Dota, Defense of the Ancients. Dota was a, a mod or a custom map to Warcraft 3. And I think it went as far back as the, uh, the early Aeon of Strife to Starcraft and everything. So it's probably been there a lot longer than just starting in 2003, but that's where it started gaining popularity. Dota came from a community which had a whole lot of different games and then they just came up with this wonderful mode. Like it, it's just the simplest thing in the world to have Fortress versus Fortress and a couple of heroes in between. And when Dota All-Stars came together, it was a combination of all of these different types of ideas that people had around this, this game mode and piled it all into one big thing which has been refined over the years. The idea behind Dota was adapted by many others who created their own different versions of it. Some even combined the many into one. But each of them only worked on it for a short period of time, leaving it for others to continue. It wasn't until 2005 that it rapidly gained popularity when yet another individual called Ice Frog picked up the development and took the chance to devote his life to the game. But what made his work so successful as opposed to all the others who had tried their best before him? He listened, talking to hundreds of different people every day, asking questions, seeking advice, he skillfully condensed the feedback to produce the game the community wished for. The one outstanding feature Dota has is the fact that there's this one guy working on it who's in very close contact with especially the professional scene, but also has an entire team of beta testers, Ice Frog. And he's always monitored the, the competitive scene, especially very closely to, to find out what works, what doesn't work, and he continuously release these new updates that make sure that the game is balanced, the game is fun, the meta game develops and everything. And I think that's a big integral part of why this game is so much more successful than a lot of other games, even though there was technically no developer behind it for the longest time, only for the past four years or so.